Hello, welcome to Brain Gifting Edition. And we shall be talking today about why people have headaches. But before we go into the gist, uh, if you're watching this channel for the very first time, you're very welcome. This is the channel where we'll be talking about everything that has to do with the brain and all the disorders that affect the brain, such as headaches, dizziness, epilepsy, and many other things. It's going to be very interesting and exciting. So I encourage you to please subscribe so you do not miss everything we're going to be saying in this channel. For returning viewers, I welcome you once again and thank you so much for watching. Now back to the topic of today, we want to talk about why people have headaches. I mean, that's um, a very interesting question because I believe every one of you watching today have had a headache at one time or the other in your life. So it's extremely common. Statistics has it that at least about 3 billion people across the world suffer headache disorders and that's quite mind bogging and that tells you about the enormity of the problem. So why do people have headaches? Going straight to the point. Now um, there are different ways to discuss the subject but in order to ease the understanding of the subject I've decided to divide the courses into two kinds so people can have headaches for two different groups of reasons. The first group is what I call habitual headaches. Habitual headaches are those kinds of headaches that people tend to have um, all the time. There are people with whom headache is extremely common, that um, headache has become almost a second nature to them. Some of them have headaches every week sometimes every day, every other day, every month or so. So it's become part and parcel of them. Um, and that's what I call habitual headaches. And those who suffer these kinds of headaches are said to have a primary headache disorder. So these kinds of headaches, most of the time, do not have any underlying brain disease that's causing the headache. So it's just a headache disorder. But that is not to minimize the potential impact it could have on the lives of the sufferers. So it could actually be disabling and stop people from being able to enjoy life or even work or even school, depending on what you do. And then a second category of headaches that people can have is what I call vocational headaches. Or secondary headaches. Those are headache disorders happening in someone who doesn't have a past history of recurrent headaches, but now has a headache that probably started a couple of weeks back, a couple of months back, a couple of days back. So these kinds of headaches tend to have an underlying cause. And when we see these kinds of patients in the clinics, we tend to dig deep to try to find what might be underlying their headaches, what might be the cause of their headaches. So for the second category, that's the occasional headaches or secondary headaches, some of the underlying causes could be things like infections around the head. It could be an infection in the sinuses, it could be infection in the eyes, it could be infection in the throat. For example, you might have um, a flu or a sinus infection, or even now in the days of COVID-19, uh, the cause is infection of the upper airway and sometimes the lower airway that can cause a headache. Even infections around in the lungs, infection in the kidneys, infection anywhere else in the body can potentially cause a headache. Anything that causes fever can potentially cause a headache. And you can, infections within the brain can also do that. And then if we move away from infections, even head trauma can cause headache. If you traumatize your head, or if people bleed into their brains, that's a form of stroke that can also cause headaches. All of these 
headaches that have underlying cause, we call them secondary headaches. And also, occasional headaches or secondary headaches can happen in extreme, extremely stressful situations. For example, someone who's been sleep deprived for some time can have, can have headaches. And then the simple trick could be for them to rest and then a the headache results. And then someone who's been fasting for some time can also have headaches. As someone who's been extremely dehydrated could have headaches. Somebody who's been extremely stressed could have headaches. So all of these would cause what we call occasional headaches. And uh, that tends to resolve when the underlying cause is identified and treated. So what should you do if you have headaches? Now you need to identify what category you fall into. Do you have an occasional headache or do you have um, a primary headache disorder, in which case you have habitual headaches? So habitual headaches are those ones in which you tend to have headaches um, all the time. It's part of your life. Now we don't tend to worry so much about those who have habitual headaches because we think there is most of the time there's nothing underlying it but even though you have what looks like a habitual headache it might be important for you to still see a doctor to ensure at least once in your life to have that conversation with a doctor to confirm to you that what you have indeed is a primary headache disorder that you shouldn't worry about and probably conversation might revolve around how to best care for yourself when this headache is happening, how to best make sure that this headache does not affect your daily living um, significantly and how to you know, handle them. And then your doctor would want to exclude mimics because occasionally we have some things that we call headache mimics, I mean a primary headache disorder mimics that causes recurring headaches and then you mistakenly think it's a primary headache disorder with rest there might be something underlying it. And that's why if you have a recurring headache disorder, it's also good, always good for you to have at least one consultation with a physician who's knowledgeable about headaches to help exclude mimics and to confirm to you that indeed what you have is a primary headache disorder. And they may also depending on how knowledgeable they are about headaches, they might be able to accurately tell you the type of primary headache disorder that you have. You've got many types of them. It could be migraine, it could be cluster headache, it could be tension type headache, and many more types of um, primary headache disorder. Hopefully I'll be doing some more series on these primary headache disorders. The vast um, majority of people with primary headache disorders have got migraine. Now, when we talk about the secondary headaches, of course, those who have headaches, who, who are having headaches now, or who have recent onset headaches without the background of previous recurrent headaches, uh, would need to see a doctor to find out the cause of their headaches. And oftentimes, when we see those kinds of patients, that's the type of patient you want to really pay attention to, because you need to identify what's the cause of the headache. All right, so I want to thank you once again for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button so you do not miss the future um, discussions that we're coming up. I'll be doing further uh, releases on you know primary headache disorders, migraine, and other things that you need to know about headaches. So in summary, there are two broad reasons why people have got headaches. One could be a primary headache disorder, which of which there are various kinds, and it could also be an occasional headache or a secondary headache, in which case your doctor needs to look deeply and find why you have headache. And should you have a recurrent headache disorder, which is a primary headache disorder, you need to see a doctor at least once for them to confirm that indeed it's not something else mimicking the primary headache disorder. And if the headaches are getting worse, becoming disabling, you certainly need to see your doctor. So thank you so much for watching today and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.